The driver of a small truck steered his vehicle toward a crowd of people and then rammed it into a department store in the heart of Stockholm on Friday afternoon, killing at least two people, the police and local news outlets reported, in what was believed to be a terrorist attack. One person was being questioned after the attack, the Associated Press reported, citing the Swedish Prime Minister, Stefan Löfven. The assault comes after several other episodes in Europe in the past year in which a vehicle was used as a weapon. Sweden's been attacked, Mr. Lofven said. Everything points to an act of terror. Train service in and out of the city was halted, the police were urging people to stay at home and avoid the city centre after blocking off the affected area, and the Swedish intelligence agency said a large number of people had been wounded. I saw hundreds of people running. They ran for their lives, before the truck crashed into the Lund's department store, a witness identified only as Anna told the newspaper Afton Bladet. The Islamic State militant group revived the idea of using cars as weapons after it broke with Al-Qaeda in 2014. Al-Qaeda had rejected the tactic as too indiscriminate and likely to kill Muslims. In the past year, the Islamic State has claimed responsibility for the deaths of more than 100 people in Europe. A militant drove into a crowd on a busy seaside promenade during Bastille Day celebrations in Nice, in the south of France. Another attacker plowed a truck into shoppers at a Christmas market in Berlin. And last month, an assailant drove a car into pedestrians on Westminster Bridge near Parliament in London. Other attempts, like a man trying to drive over pedestrians in Antwerp, Belgium claimed no victims but have contributed to a sense of threat across the continent.